You know what? No, that that actually go, would go perfect into the next topic. And, uh, you know, the whole thing with upfront earnings coming to Uber and several markets mm -hmm. now, uh, you know, that's that's one of the biggest things that I've been seeing, uh, whether it's on Facebook, comments, wherever I'm, I'm looking. Uh, a lot of people are complaining about how rate rebalancing is lowering the payout. And, you know, there's probably a lot more to it. And Sergio and I are kind of trying to figure out some ways that we can, you know, actually get real data and figure it out ourselves. Uh, so we are going to be, you know, doing a couple of different tests and going through that. Uh, but one of the big things is rate rebalancing says that they will give you higher earnings for shorter rides. And then, you know, it rebalances by giving you lower earnings for longer rides compared to the old model. Um, and then Lyft is also, you know, test piloting Uber pay, or I'm sorry, upfront pay, which is exactly like Uber and upfront trip details, which we're going to kind of go into a little bit more. We have a little bit more information on that um, in just a moment. But, you know, one of the things that we should talk about is how long is too long for a ride, whether it's a, you know, ride share, whether it's a food delivery, especially with upfront earnings, with rate rebalancing, how far would you say is too far now at this point that you're either losing money on the ride because of rate, rate rebalancing, both on Uber and Lyft, as well as, you know, deadhead miling back. So, um, you know, Pedro, let's start with you. If, have you kind of figured that out or, or thought about that now that you have um, front earnings and also uh, doing a little bit more ride share? Yeah. So for me with the ride share, um, I look at it two ways. If I have a really good promotion or something like that, I, I like to keep, I like to have my, total miles like getting to the pickup and then drop off to be like four or five i do a lot of short runs and those will typically pay me between six and ten or twelve dollars right so i like to do those and I, if i can do three of those an hour i'm over 30 35 bucks i'm i'm good with that for me but there are many times you know if i see a a 40 dollars doesn't happen often or maybe like a 30 dollar trip going 18 miles to the airport i'll take it because I'll, I'll take that and then the likelihood of me getting one, a pickup from the airport going in a direction I want to go is very high. So then I can turn that 30 into another 10, another 15, another $20 and do that in an hour. So I don't get those often, maybe once a day. Um, so I don't mind driving the miles, especially if it's highway and if it's airport run. Um, or if I happen to be 10 miles or 15 miles away from home and just, uh, you know, I'm towards the end of my day. I'll take a longer run going back to my home area. I'll do those all day because I, I have to drive those miles anyway. Um, but typically, I like to keep my miles really low. Like Serge was saying, keep to that eight mile radius or whatnot. Like that's what I like to be because that's where I can be most profitable and efficient. But I'll definitely take some long runs if they're highway. I'll definitely do that. Okay, nice. And then is there anything where you say, oh, that's, you know, that's going to be too far. Or that's not worth my time. Um, is there anything specific that you, that you're looking at? I don't uh, I don't go. So in St. Louis, we're, we're the Mississippi divides us, the Missouri and Illinois. Right. So downtown where the arch is at, you know, a lot of good money can be made there. But Uber would try to send me to like Cahokia or Collinsville, Illinois, like, you know, 15, 20 miles out. I don't do those runs because in my past life, when I was doing a lot of Uber ride share, I could end up in Illinois and it tends to be another 20 miles and I'm in Mount Vernon. I'm like, I'm an hour away from home. Yeah. I made a little bit of money, but the likelihood of getting a trip out there coming back to St. Louis is not usually that high. Yeah. So then I'm basically yeah. doubling my miles and then I'm not really making money on that. So. Yep. So now, I don't Sergio, go, I know you I go that far. So. Okay. I, um, I, I'll, I'll share mine. To, I try to stay in my area, bro. I, I, I set my DF and Kyle, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I try to stay in the hot zone as long as I can because it's surging there constantly. No more quests. Like, uh, okay, no problem. Uh, yesterday, I don't have any more quests. I go out, literally stayed within eight miles of my house, did four trips, 60 bucks almost in an hour and a half. I'm done. So to me, you, you know, your strategy of the, the old days when we had the multiplier, surge multiplier, Mm -hmm. You know, you know, trips were being extended on my end constantly, right? <laughs> so if I got a 10 mile LAX trip, I can go to LAX in LA four different ways. One is 10 miles, mm -hmm. one is 15 miles, one is 20 miles. 
and depending on what who is in the room, that at two and a half x, you can you can bet your butt that it's going to be a twenty mile ride to LAX. Okay, so <laughs> and you know without without delaying the passenger. Now, if the time was like so horribly different, worse, then I'm not going to hurt the passenger because they're dealing with this time sensitive issue. Mm -hmm. But you know nowadays, you know driving long distance doesn't make sense whatsoever at all. Like. If you have a decent quest like Pedro had, let's say 50 trips for 100 bucks, which we have not seen in LA for like more than three, four months now. Yeah, I, I knock out shorty after shorty after shorty and stay between, let's say, Santa Monica. If you people know LA, Santa Monica and West Hollywood, that's where all the rides are. Knock out 50, at least three, if up to five per hour. And then finish my quest, take their money, take more. Hopefully they'll be with Surge. Because with base rates at 60 cents a mile, it doesn't make sense to drive 50, 60, 80 miles to take somebody somewhere with a no hope of return. Okay? None. Zero. All right, hold, hold on. So, so Chris and Pedro, do you guys think Uber did this upfront fair thing, knowing that probably 75% of drivers are ants and they're going to take it anyway? Is that why? Is it really? I mean... Because you to know, me, it's like they're giving up something that they haven't given up for 12 years. Now they go, oh, here, here's the destination now. Go ahead and look at it. We don't care. We don't worry about it. We have so much info on you that we know you've taken 99% of your trips. You've accepted it. So without fear, we're going to show you the destination because we think you're going to continue and you're not going to switch from being an ant to a cherry picker. Is that Maybe that's why they're doing it. They go like, we don't care. Well, you're going to accept it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 it could be that. I don't know. I think, I think a lot of people that do this work, just, and just don't really look at their numbers like some yeah. of us do. You know, I think, I, you know, I think a lot of people that do it are doing it very part time. They're doing it for just one month. Maybe they're doing it for a couple of months. You know, I, I think it's a very high turnover line of work that we're in, and I think a lot of people are just like. I just need to make 500 bucks this month to take care of my car note or take care of my bill or to do this. And they're making, they get to that 500, but they really didn't make 500 because they spent a lot of time or a lot more gas. And then they're still just spinning their wheels, trying to figure out why they're not making money. And I think a lot of people fall into that. And that's why I try to educate and inform like, Hey, you're going to mm -hmm. be better off if you're a little patient, no tip, no trip. I believe it. It's not a personal thing. It's just like, you can't make money if you take too many two, three, four dollar orders. You just can't. But I think some people are just like, I just need to get to this amount and I don't care how long it takes me. I just got to make my hundred bucks today. Whereas yeah. I try to tell people, you know what? In a lot of markets, you might be able to make that in four or five hours instead of eight. So why not? Why not? Don't you want your three hours back? You know, that's kind of yep. where my mind goes, but teach their own. So. All right, thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me The Money Club with Sergio and myself. Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.